Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for turning back in. So I sold my far and away my most valuable card ever, the Caitlin Clark 2021 uh, Sports Illustrated for Kids autograph card, authenticated by PSA and uh, given a, an autograph grade of a 10. When I first talked about it, when I first bought it, um, geez, it was 16 months ago now. I've just picked up this. Caitlin Clark, Sports Illustrated for Kids, amazing autograph. Look at how cool that looks. Caitlin Clark is a superstar in college, and I know I'm going to get comments about women's sports because people are like that and have to say something negative, but uh, Caitlin Clark is averaging like 28 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals per game on good percentages, and her percentages are actually down this year. I think uh, she's going to be a mega star. I thought I would keep it forever. I'm a huge Caitlin Clark fan, and why not? Why wouldn't I keep it forever? But then her value shot up, the card value shot up, and I preach all the time. Uh, no, I shouldn't say preach. I talk all the time about how I would not risk high-value cards on a current player. And... Uh, I still thought, well, I'm going to put it on eBay at a really high price. And if somebody buys it, I'll be happy to sell it at a really high price. And it sat there on eBay for $2,999 for a while. And I received offers, escalating offers, actually. They started at like $250, and then I got a couple at $550. The most recent comp, I think, was $560 in December or January. But that one had black. Uh, it was signed in black on a black background, it looked terrible. And I don't think, and I'll put it up here, I don't, I don't remember exactly if the autograph grade was a 10. I don't care about the autograph grade, but people do, that adds value to it if it's a 10. So I felt like uh, mine was more valuable, plus her recent run, her record-breaking run. And I thought, well, yeah, we'll see what kind of offers I get. And, and they kept going up, they went up to $850 and $1,100 and then $1,400, I got a, several at $1,400. And then a guy reached out to me privately, and he offered me $2,100. And I thought, $2,100 is really good. I, but no, I, I still don't really want to sell this. And I had a conversation with him. He was not happy <laughs> that I didn't want to sell for $2,100. Uh, and I, I said no. And then I got a private message from another guy saying, if this is still available, after, if, they, if Iowa wins the title... If it's still available, I'll give you $2,600 for it. And so I was like, okay, if they win the title, though, it's going to be worth more than $2,600. And so ultimately, the, in the last couple of days, I thought, you know what? Why am I hanging on to this card? It's not rare. The combination of the card and the autograph and it's being yellow are rare. But could I duplicate this in the future? You can buy a Sports Illustrated for Kids card on eBay at any any given time of Caitlin Clark for, I don't know, $20, $30, Now, she doesn't do private signings right now, but in the future she might. What is she going to charge for that? 300 bucks, Maybe? Uh, and then pay, let's just say, 30 bucks to get the, the autograph and card authenticated, dual graded via PSA. So you're talking maybe 400 bucks to replicate this card. You mail it, you include a yellow marker, make sure she signs it in yellow, and all of a sudden you've got the same card. And, and so then I decided, all right, I need to sell this now while the value is high. And I put a, I, I've been sending out offers already for like $2,400, bucks. And then I thought, why, why am I waiting? So I put out an offer before yesterday's game, the Elite Eight game against LSU. And it was for... I actually, I reduced the price to $22.99, so $700 off. And I thought, I put out some offers for like $1,900. And I started getting offers for $1,500, $1,600, $1,800. Oh, but I forgot to mention, I went back to the guy who originally offered me $2,100. And he said he had already spent his funds on a different card. And he was, I think he was bitter that I hadn't just accepted his offer in the first place. And honestly, I should have. I regret it. But at the time, I wasn't ready to make that deal. So uh, I started putting out feelers 
with other buyers, other potential buyers. During the game, I got worried because LSU made a big comeback. They took a lead. I don't remember, what was it? Like a five-point lead, six-point lead, seven-point lead. And I started getting worried. Like, oh no, <laughs> this card. <laughs> I, I may have blown my opportunity to, to take a big profit and sell this card high. And then Clark caught fire like she does. And, and herein lies the risk. You have somebody like Caitlin Clark who is extremely exciting because she's not, nobody's ever played like her before. A lot of three-pointers, but also great court vision, passing. But because she's shooting from 30 feet out so frequently, 25 feet out, the risk is higher. The chances of uh, going cold are higher than a uh, Angel Reese or Shaquille O'Neal type. And while those two might not be as popular because their game isn't as exciting, it's more of a sure thing than uh, a Caitlin Clark or a Steph Curry, for instance. Any of those, a three-point shooter can be streaky. Maybe maybe Steph Curry is a bad example, but uh, Jason Tatum shoots a lot of three-pointers. He's not a three-point shooter, but he's streaky. The Celtics shoot 49% of their shots are three-pointers, and they have bad games. And it only takes one. In the NBA, you've got to lose four games out of seven, but in the NCAA, you only need to lose one game and you're out. So is it possible for Iowa to go on a cold streak and lose a game? Absolutely. And then I'm sitting on a card and people talk about holding the bag and all of a sudden I'm holding the bag and I would have been thrilled to still have that card, but I also would have felt like I should have sold it and then just picked it up again later on. Do I think this card is going to go up in value? I don't know. It could go, it could skyrocket. The, there are other Sports Illustrated for Kids cards that are very valuable, but it's not because they're signed, it's because they are rare, graded at a nine or a 10 or whatever, like the Serena Williams was that 1997 or 98? Uh, I just felt like it would be a mistake for me to not sell. And so I started getting much more aggressive. And this morning I got an offer from a guy for like uh, 1500 flat. And I messaged him. I put a, an offer back out to him saying $1,900. This is as low as I go. And he then sent me another offer for 1775 And I re-offered him... 1900 and I said this is as low as I go and his next message to me I don't remember what he said exactly but it was basically like come on let me win this 1850 and I saw so I said okay 1850 it is and I sold it for $1,850 now I paid let me look at my notes here $121.95 for this card already autographed $121.95 in December December 3rd of 2022 I felt at that time that was fairly high, but also it would be worth it in the long run because I thought she was amazing and it was only a matter of time before the world discovered it. And in the run-up, just a few months later, three and a half, four months later of March Madness last year, that card shot up to many hundreds of dollars, maybe approaching a thousand dollars. And I hung on to it because I think she's amazing. And uh, then I got it graded at the National and the grade came back amazing. That cost me $25. So I have a total of $146.95 into this card. So selling it for $18.50, let's forget about ta uh, you know fees and taxes and things like that. I have about 12, I 12 X'd it. 12 and a half X'd that initial investment. Now I have to pay taxes. I have to pay fees. I think my eBay fees were like, 250 bucks or something like that. But this is not like one of these Caitlin Clark one of one cards that you're seeing around. It's not like anything else. It's something that can I can obtain again at a pretty reasonable price, I believe. And if I don't, that's a mistake I made. And I still have a PSA 10 pack pulled Caitlin Clark rookie refractor from Bowman. I think Bowman U or whatever. So I'm happy with that too. This is the most I've ever sold. The, the second highest card I've ever sold, the previous high was a 1959 Tops Willie Mays in an SGC 6, maybe, that I sold for $535, I think. So uh, this was 3x that and then some. 
And so I texted a bunch of people. And actually, I've had a lot of people checking in on me like, when are you going to sell the card? It's, it's going up in value. If she wins the championship, it's going to be way up. And that's a risk I am willing to take that I've sold it too early and it's going to be worth three, $4,000. But again, if she has a bad game, if they have a bad game and they lose, that card plummets in value. And I'm left holding a card that is very replaceable in my opinion. Pretty replaceable. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. Was this stupid of me? Uh, or was this the right move? I, I feel like I sold at the exact right time. But, you know, if she wins these next couple of games, I might regret it. I'm not going to regret it, actually, because I, I know the risk. I know that there's a chance that she wins the title and this skyrockets in value. But I don't... I'm okay with where I sold it. I 12 next, almost 13 next my money. So it's good. I'm really happy. Let me know in comments what you think about my decision here. And uh, I'll be back with more, maybe tomorrow, if I have time. Thanks very much for watching.